guys. So I have everything set up. I have my sheets here, my newspaper for if I make a mess. I'm going to go ahead and just start to wipe all that goop up. Um, and yeah, we'll see how this goes. I did want to prove that this actually was from Goodwill, and you can see the price there, $2.97. It's actually really not a bad find. It's in good condition. It's pretty dirty. I absolutely hate the color. <laughs> so I'm going to stain the wood here, and I'm going to paint in here different colors. I might, uh, you know, do a row of the moon phases, a row of the chakra signs. I'm not really quite sure what I want to do. Maybe like um, earth, wind, and fire, moon phases, or maybe I'm just going to leave it black. I don't really know. Um, maybe I'll do a couple odds and ends colors, make it shiny, metallic-y. I am not quite sure. I'd give you my blueprint, but we're just going to wing it. We're going to get crafty. All right, so let's get into it. Oh my goodness, it looks so much better with me just even cleaning it out. I'm doing this so the paint does stick well to the surface, but uh, yeah, it could definitely use a cleaning. So I'm going to and clean this guy up and we'll get to the fun part. And also, because this is from a second-hand store, I'm going to go ahead and sage this, alright? I'm going to make sure if there's any negative energies that cling to this, or maybe um, any negative energy from the person who have made it, uh, that is all washed away, and I'm asking that energy to be returned to Mother Nature and turned into neutral energy. Okay, so I'm going to sage this with actually white sage. This is a sage that I have grown and rolled myself, as you can see. This is not the kind that you can get in the store. If you guys want to know how to do that yourself, how to make your own sage sticks, I will have a video. You can go ahead and find that. I'll probably have that linked in the description box, okay? So this is sage that I have rolled myself, grown and rolled myself. So I feel like it's going to be more powerful to make sure that all of the negative energy, all of the icky voodoo that might lie within this second hand, uh, I'm going to call this like a knick-knack holder, an organizer, that it is washed away. guys so you know I bought the little cubby piece for $2.97 at Goodwill and when I say that this is how much this project is costing I'm not lying this is the stain that I am using this is like there's just a little bit at the bottom of the barrel and I know it's going to be enough to complete the project this was actually a stain that I had for my fence that I was using I got this from Lowe's and it is the color reindeer it's actually so beat up here and weathered that you can't see it but this is the shade reindeer you can kind of see it dribbling on um, I'm hoping it won't be too dark but you know since I am a broke witch we're just gonna go ahead and rock it I really do feel like it's gonna look really good though um, the wood is pretty light so I do feel it won't be as dark as you see here on this I'm gonna probably just try to do a coat or two just to make sure it doesn't get too dark okay all right, so let's have at it. to get through the never-ending staining. Let's go to the house. Let's go 
So this is how it looks after I stained it about five times, five coatings of stain. This was actually extremely more tedious than I thought it would be. Um, as you can see, it got to the point where I really didn't even care if I splashed it on the white. That's okay because we're going to paint that part today. Today's the beautifying and decoring. So I have let this dry overnight. doesn't look that bad. <laughs> I'm not really happy about that. Um, I don't know if it's the wood or the stain. Like I said, I did use the stain on my fence and I didn't really have that much of a problem with the drippage, so maybe it is just the wrong type of wood. I don't know, but I do like it. It looks a lot better than it did. I love the dark wood over the light wood that it was. Um, as you can see, I really messed up the insides of here, but that doesn't matter because I am going to use black paint. Like I said, the only thing that I invested for this project is the actual piece, which was $2.97. This is just some paint that I have. Obviously, you can see I do some crafting because I do have a large amount of acrylic black paint. So I'm just going to use this and paint the insides. Like I said, I don't know the game plan. I don't know if I'm going to switch up the colors in some, but I definitely know that I want some black. So I'm just going to kind of start off and just kind of see where it goes. All right. Wish me luck. <laughs> where it was a little heavy where you could see it's wet but overall it looks great it's definitely a lot different than it was um you know I'm trying to not get down on myself on how it just didn't turn out quite how I wanted but I'm gonna keep going at it so I had no idea what I wanted to do for a background I know moons kept really popping up when I was thinking about this project now, I'm going to fill these spots with a lot of my crystals that I use for my healing practice or just things that I want to display that kind of really spark me, that keep me motivated because this will be on my altar, a part of my altar piece. So I want it to be really inspiring. So I don't want to draw from the tools that I use. So I wanted to do something a little bit more simple. And um, my hands are pretty tired from doing the stains so many times in the painting these black things they took about two coats with some touch-ups so I've been at this for hours <laughs> already and uh, so I'm just thinking like my hands not going to be steady but this is something that I wanted to make sure that I finished you know in a you know day couple days or so I didn't want to put it off because it will just be another one of them art projects that I put off to the side and I never finish and I want to use this right away so this is why I kind of wanted to make sure that I didn't finish it too late but then also it just didn't look like a mess like I tried to rush so I found these stencils that I had left over from I think it was like a kids like happy meal as you can see I have a crescent moon here I have Saturn and I thought because you know all the stories about Saturn losing its rings let's maybe pop that on there and I have a round shape which you know I guess could be any planet but I'm going to use it at the moon um, yes it does fit in there so we're going to see how this goes. I also had another small crescent. Um, you know, I might flip them around like that and use them. Um, I'm really not sure what I'm doing, but hopefully this turns out good. So let's have at it. <laughs> 